Welcome to Expert Talks by Calkine TV. I'm Sage. Today's guest is Druva Konadena, the founder and CEO of Neural Foundry Limited. And for some background, Neural Foundry specializes in embedding AI capabilities and software to provide clients with intelligent, efficient and automated solutions, analyzing the underlying structures of the raw data to produce never seen before outcomes that lie in our DNAs. Additionally, they deliver robots that use adaptive artificial intelligence to cater to healthcare needs. Sounds like a very interesting business. And bringing you live today, we have the founder and CEO, Druva Konadena of Neural Foundry. Welcome to the show, Druva. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you glad to have you with us. Um, Thank you. Let's start the discussion with this fantastic business you have. Um, sharing your thoughts on what makes your futuristic healthcare robot safe, supreme and secure, please. So our healthcare robot, I'll answer that in a three-step way sure. with regards to each and every word. So from, from a safe perspective, it ensures a surrounded healthcare, uh, healthcare solution for anyone elderly or vulnerable uh, people. Um, that being said, it it ticks all the boxes in terms of um, extensive AI algorithms, tailoring it and customizing it for each and every individual because it does it's not the same fit for everyone. So we built artificial, we've built the intelligence, we engineered it for it to learn on its own, not us teaching what the model should have. So that ticks the safe box and uh, from a supreme box. We don't treat that robot as a one-off product. So what? So that product is a platform that is going to be a product for the uh, end users by enhancing the software in each and every iteration. So it's not the end of the journey after you buy a product. That's where the journey begins from. And from a secure perspective, we train and we develop, we engineer all our models that can be worked, that can work without the use of internet. So your data, your private data stays with you and it's at your discretion whether you want to store it on cloud or store it on the robot, which is no uh, need of an internet to work. Wow, that sounds amazing. So does this sort of work in a similar way to uh, some types of gene therapy and, and does it sort of um, notice when there are mutations and anomalies in gene sequences that could be the beginning of diseases? So from a specific perspective, it, it, it can go to that depth, but the underlying structure of the engineering of the intelligence perspective is more to, towards deep learning in developing neural networks on its own by analyzing the behavior and analyzing the surroundings based on the sensor inputs that it receives and then it, depending on the hierarchy or the uh, metadata that it receives it can go to that extent but it won't start from that extent Right, thank you so much for sharing that. So in your opinion, how can advancements in technologies and the use of AI and machine learning that you're helping us understand about um, provide solutions to solve some of the biggest healthcare problems? So healthcare is, is the core existence of our nature, is, is the core existence of human, human habitat on Earth. And it's not a single topic or it's not a single piece of, or, or a chapter that can be covered. And that's the that's same with AIML. So AIML is the tip of the iceberg. It's how well you engineer the machine learning or precisely put, how well you engineer deep learning aspects of it, each and every neuron, each and every uh, parameter that you, hyperparameter that you put in is is, is a factor that affects the, the performance of the model, wherein the model performs on its own to extract underlying natures of the healthcare and give us much more information about our own selves. And for example, a decade or so back, we never knew about sleep schedules or 
uh, how well do we sleep with work? And now we've come to an era where we wear a wristwatch to know how well we're sleeping and that can provide more inputs about our blood oxygen levels, etc., etc. So again, going back to the topic, it, it's just uh, an ongoing process and AIML will certainly help us to extract those underlying um, structures of the data that will give us much more analytical and yet intuitive and useful insights. That's fantastic. Sounds great. Yes, a lot of people are really enjoying the wearables and just f finding out a bit more about their own vital signs and the data that's occurring in our highly intelligent systems that we operate without having to do very, uh, without having to do very much at all. So thank you so much, Dur um, Durev. What have been some of the most revolutionising steps taken in the healthcare sector in the past year, in your opinion? I would say robotics has been a revolutionising step. I mean, moving away from actual human, uh, let's say there are robotic operations now, robotic uh, healthcare advancements. And I think the future is coming. It's coming sooner than we think it is. Uh, and that being said, it is far away. I know it's it's an oxymoron, but it's it's coming as fast as faster than we think. And at the same time, the acceptance rate is also abiding by it so that is one of the most advanced uh, advancements that we've encountered in recent time and in addition to that the the core uh, population accepting it is also a fantastic thing for us to revolutionize healthcare and that's where we as neural foundry would like to want we have, have been born and brought in as to revolutionize healthcare and take it to a next level in the care system by incorporating our robot into the ecosystem wherein it's just not a product but a platform, an uh, evolving platform to, to be a companion for anyone that needs it. Wow, I'm absolutely being blown away by this idea, Druva. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Now, as we continue on the discussion, would you please shed some light on your hygiene and cleanliness robot accord as well, please. Yeah, so that's our UV disinfectant robot, more inclined towards industrial slash communal, uh, communal area robots, wherein it's got UV, UV tubes onboarded onto the system, and yet again, uh, has the same mechanism of, of AI and all the intelligent models being on chip, uh, that being our core selling point and that is a fully autonomous UV disinfectant area wherein it can give you detailed analytical reports uh, and has interactions with the uh, people and can disinfect an entire area and give you a detailed report on what germs have been destroyed, what kind of bacteria has been destroyed with its extensive uh, camera and sensor inputs. That's amazing. Thank you so much. So. Finally, what are your near-term plans for Neural Foundry? So our near-term plans is definitely taking our healthcare robot to uh, the uh, near uh, end users and penetrating more into the market. And also us as Neural Foundry personifying the idea about uh, packaging AI and robotics together and giving you an innovative solution and that's where our core expertise lies in and that's why we want to mold this into a healthcare perspective and serve the humankind and take it forward from there. That sounds brilliant. Thank you so much for sharing your insights from this very exciting field where medical and technological advancements are making huge leaps and bounds. Thank you so much again for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. For and if you just joined us, we had a very informative discussion with Druva Konadina. He's the founder and CEO of Neural Foundry. Please watch the full recording on Kalkine Media's YouTube channel. And keep watching Kalkine Media for more of these live expert talks, market insights. Until the next episode, stay apprised and invest wise with Kalkine Media.